Hi everyone, trust you all are doing well. So we finished up with our LifeWire component in the previous episode. And in this episode, we're going to work on our blade component. All right, so as you can see, we get the, the latest post from our LifeWire component. Then we pass that single post basically to the blade view right here. All right, so there's a couple of things we need to do to update this view. All right, so let's quickly do that. The first one will be the route. So let's quickly open up our web route. Okay, you will, if you're using the template, you'll see there's many rounds right there. And just go for the one that looks like post, this one right here. Okay, so what we want to do is the show route right here, we want it to be more dynamic. As you can see, the title is kind of hard coded. I just want to model bind basically the post like that. By default, I would have normally add the slack like this. But since in my post model, let me just open it quickly. I uh, get the route key name, we return the slug. Okay, so we don't need to add it in there. So by default, Laravel use the ID, but we just change the, the route key name to the slug. Okay, so put it in like this. The next thing you need to do, you need to update your nav. Okay, so just go to the partials nav. So components, partial nav. You see the post single right there. It's going to expect a parameter of post. Right, this was just to kind of get easily view the uh, blade views. Okay, so let's just delete that because we don't need it anymore. We still need it, but not in the navigation. Okay. All right, let's go to the latest post. And in our anchor tag for our image, what we're going to do is we're going to add a route, the route that we just created, post.show, and then we pass in the post like that. All right, the image going to delete that. The image is basically going to go to the storage folder. And inside the storage folder, we're going to concatenate post uh, image like this. Okay. And then the post. Okay. It's quite important to also for your alt. So if your image doesn't display, what else will it display? You can change it right here to post a title or whatever you want it to be. So I'm just going to, to use the title for now. All right. The next thing is this is the tags. Okay. We're going to get to the tag part in a second because we're going to loop over the tags. All right. This is the H2. This one right here. The title of the post. Let me just add it. Going to be the title. Okay. So in order to get the title, what we do is we do a post title. Like that. And this is the the excerpt of the post. We can do this like this. So post excerpt. All right. Now we're calling on the excerpt method inside our post. Let's go to post quickly. Model right here. You'll see we're calling on this method right here. So by default it's 250. Okay. So we can change that to any amount we want. Okay, so I'm going to just put it, let's say, 500. Okay, the reason I put it so high, um, you will see in a second in the database, cedars, plain table cedar, post table cedar. In the post factory, I made the paragraphs 10, so there's a lot of text in there, right? So if the person actually types in a lot of text. Okay, so that's my accept. You can leave it at 250, 300, whatever you want. Okay, totally up to you. The next thing, this is the author. Okay, so the image, I'm going to deal with it in a different episode. But for a year, I'm just going to add the name of the post author. Like this. All right, I'm going to deal with the images in its own separate episode because there's quite a bit we have to do right there all right in order to read more the post okay we're going to add an href and equal that to a route and the route in here is post.show and then we pass in the post like that okay and for the author i obviously forgot to add the name as well so post author that's going to pull on the relationship and we just get the name of that okay Right, another thing that I want you to do as well, just make sure for the image, just asset, storage, just make sure you enter forward slash right there, and then concatenate 
the post image right there. Right, so this is our tags, and this is our title, this is an excerpt. Uh, made it 500, but I think, let me just leave it at 250. All right, and then we've got the author's image, but for now, I'm not going to be working on that. We're going to get to that in a separate episode. And when we read more, we will actually go to the white post. Right now, here comes the tags. Okay, so we I want to create a flex div. Okay, so let's bring in the first tag like that because we're going to loop over the tags. Right, so we're going to create a for each loop, add for each uh, post tags. Okay, as tags, as tag. Okay, let's move this in there. Right, so what I want to do is I want to create a space X between the tags of let's say four. Right, and then we can just do a tag name like this. Okay, so we bring the tag name like that. Right, so we loop over the tags when we need to go to obviously the route of the tags, route, uh, but we're not going to deal with that now. Let's leave it as is for now. Let's just loop over the tag. Right, so as you can see, we got the post, single post right there, the image right there. We got the tag, health, fitness, and we got the title and the body right here. And obviously, the admin user, the first one, the admin user, obviously, the second one, third one, and then four posts because we created four posts for each. As you can see, Michelle Jones now, and things like that. Okay, so all good. So we get the different posts right here. Now, the next thing I want to just mention to you, if you guys want to, um, this is totally up to you. If you, let's say I'm scrolling here, and if I scroll to this point and it wants to load more posts, instead of me actually um, clicking the load more button, Right. If you guys want that, please leave it to me in the comment section and I will show you how to do that as well. But if you don't want to, it's all fine. So I don't want to add unnecessary things people might not want actually. Right. So that's it. So that's basically our view right there. We're obviously going to add all the different routes because once I get to the tags, then I can be able to upload it right here. So right now, if I click this button, I will go to the single post. Right. So let me click it. As you can see, we get to this view around here. Obviously, everything is still hard coded, but we're going to get to that on its own episode and deal with it. And we make it more dynamic when we get there. Right. So that's it. So at the moment, what we can do is we got all our posts right here that's coming dynamically from the database with their tags. So we're going to make this also clickable when we get to the tag part. And we can click the read more and actually go there. Right. So if we load more, we actually load more posts right here. So there's another question that I also want to post to you. So if we click the button, I want to have an indicator like a loading sign or anything indicating that, the, it, that it's actually working, right? If you guys want that, please leave it to me in the comment section and I can do that. Or if you want to, you can do it on your own. All right. Thank you guys. If you liked the video, please give it a like. Questions, feedback, or suggestions, leave it for me in the comment section. Thank you. And I'll see you in the next one. Adiós.